What's up guys, this is the pickup recap for Saturday's flea market finds, which was really awesome. I could not believe it, as dry as it is now, to find all of this stuff it was amazing. Really amazing. So to start off with, we'll just do some ungame related items. And the first one is a GPS, because you might need to know where you're going, especially me. I'm bad with directions. Yeah, GPS. And we got two iPods. One's with a little charger there, but it's the cord's a little bit damaged. I haven't tried these out yet, so don't know if they work. But that was still cool to find. Then we have a RF adapter thingy that is like a multi-tap for the let's see, the GameCube, looks like Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, pretty cool. Then we got this really cool Nyko Airflow wireless controller. Look at this thing, it's a beast. It's got a fan in it. I think this thing takes like, let's see, four AA batteries. So this thing is a monster, monster. <clears throat> and it did come with the receiver, which was cool too. And it just plugs right into the controller port on the front of the Xbox. And then you can dial up the sensitivity here on different settings. So wireless controller for the Xbox original, awesome. Then we got a third party Mad Cats controller for the Xbox. Uh, we got a really nasty Platinum GameCube controller. But then we did have this, a WaveBird. First one I've ever found. Really awesome WaveBird. Yes. It did not have the battery cover or the receiver, so bummer, but maybe I'll come across them. You never know. Then we had a original PlayStation with two of the uh, controllers before DualShock or Analog. Really cool to get those. And here is the console, which I have like two or three of these, so I'll probably end up trading this or something. Let's get some of this out of the way here. Let's see, then we had power supply, power supply, and AV cables for the two game cubes that we picked up. We got another platinum model, and then this black one here is a little bit dirty. And this one here, the back corner is broken off. I've not tested this one yet. This one does work though. And both of them, the, the the open button for the door here works really good on those. So cool. Let's see. I showed you guys, you know, the power supply and all that stuff. But then we got a stack of games here. Start off with Splinter Cell. A really awesome stealth game. Sam Fisher's the man. And got another copy of Doom Collector's Edition in the 10. Really cool. A copy of Halo 2. A copy of Manhunt. Really glad, glad to get this one. I did not have it for the collection. And where I live, it's really hard to get a host of this game. It's really gory and controversial game that came out and was almost banned, I believe. Really cool to get that one. Then we got a copy of Fable, The Lost Chapters. Really neat game back in the day to play this. You could grow up from a little boy into, a, you know, a really bad guy or a really good guy. But it was really cool. Then a copy of Serious Sam. In a blockbuster case here. It did not have the manual. But nonetheless, this is a really neat beat em up, shoot -er up, shoot -em up type game. And if you've not played it, you should definitely give it a try. It looks a little cartoony, but it's a really good game. Then we got a copy of The Matrix. Call of Duty Finest Hour for the PS2, Professional Drag Racing, IHRA 205 for the Xbox, then we got a copy of The Hobbit for the Xbox, and then a copy of The Andy Griffith Show. Hmm. I won't be watching that. And let's see, have I left anything out? I don't think I have, but the, the big thing I brought to pick on Saturday was obviously uh, the halo edition original xbox with this original controller and the way to tell the difference is it don't have the xbox symbol here it will have the halo one really cool it came with the remote and the receiver for the remote and i, t I just got done testing this it does work really well the disc tray does not stick really nice look at that guys Halo Special Edition Original Xbox. Really, really cool. And it came with all the hookups, which was crazy. 
But there it is, guys. Check that out. First one. And I watched a video not too long ago of another guy. I can't remember exactly who he is right off the top of my head now, but he found one of these complete in box, so props off to him. But we did find one here on the channel. Awesome. Awesome. And it came with the power supply and the AV cables, which is really cool. And for this whole lot, let's see, it was uh, 70 dollars no 71 because i seen the the playstation for a dollar and i felt sorry for it i just couldn't leave it man sitting over all by itself so an amazing deal and i really do appreciate all you new guys watching the channel helping me grow and to all you uh, senior wood baron retro game hunter subscribers and watchers thanks guys i really appreciate you guys so that will be it for this episode of the wood baron retro game hunter and i really do thank you guys for watching thank you very much yeah, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Amazing, man. Amazing. See ya.